Hi, this is Dr. Randy Grill of Nursing Home Dentist here to talk to you about nursing home extractions today. First of all, uh, are extractions safe to do in a nursing home? And the answer has to be, it depends on what individual who you are working on. In a nursing home, thank goodness, we have usually a two to three inch chart. We know everything from their psychological profile to their medical profile to their challenges, uh, swallowing, medications, allergies, and usually we, we go over that and we do what's called a risk-reward ratio. What are the options? Uh, you name it, we go over it so that if we decide to do an extraction in a nursing home on an elderly patient, um, it will be successful. Now, when we determine, and first of all, if it's a single rooted tooth, most likely we're able to get it. On the double rooted tooth, or those where the tooth is broken below the gum line, um, and the roots exposed, if we have to do what's called a surgical extraction, usually that means removing bone in a nursing home, I wouldn't trust the air quality uh, uh, to do an open, you know, to, to flay the skin back, leave exposed bone, and then suture it back up. One, uh, there's limited cooperation. Uh, there are other challenges. So if they were healthy enough to do that, I still wouldn't do a surgical extraction in a nursing home. Now, when I have done missionary dentistry in Nicaragua, we did the risk reward ratio on many people of the church we were helping out there and yes we did a lot of surgical extractions in outside areas where there were flies but I left them better than when I left. In a nursing home situation uh, it just depends on the person their safety meds everything we've studied to do a risk reward ratio and then if it's a single rooted tooth it's not going to be a surgical extraction where you have to open up and expose bone. Um, we do many of those type extractions if it's safe. And you just can't, everybody's different. You can't just say, oh yeah, we do extractions. Yes, we do. But if it's safe. And you can only determine that after studying, getting an x-ray if possible. A large number of uh, my clients will not allow x-rays. If you recall, and going to the dentist and you just have those bite wings every six months, uh, they can hurt. I know they do me. I've got a big tongue and it pushes it out of the way and it just gags me. And uh, uh, with my full capacity, I can say, okay, I'm going to go through this to do this. I do not like flying. I became a pilot because of my fear for flying. And I'm still afraid of flying. But if I have to fly, I fly. I don't let it get in my way, but I can't guarantee at 85 or 87 that I'm going to allow anybody to get me on an airplane. So that said, uh, safety is number one. I use what is called an Agrams atraumatic um, exodontia technique. It was developed actually in India by street dentists who sit on the street and they will wiggle a tooth back and forth with micro movements for four to six hours and they weigh out, wear out the fibers uh, that um, hold the tooth in. In fact, it actually creates a chemical reaction where um, collagenase is formed and actually dissolves the fibers that hold the, hold the teeth in and the teeth after four to six hours of those micro movements just fall out. And that's what Agrams is. So Agrams is a very kind extraction for single rooted teeth in older people. I'm not going to go into all of Agrams, but uh, those listening that have, have heard that and other dentists will know exactly what I'm talking about and why I feel Agrams is a safe extraction technique to do in a nursing home when appropriate. So this is Dr. Randy Grill. Oh, another thing. Uh, we're often limited on antibiotics we can use, on different things like that. Is there infection? Is there not infection? Um, uh, but it will always be clear on my chart if I don't want antibiotics, which is, everybody's different, uh, it will clearly state no antibiotics needed. And, uh, but most of the time, uh, 
uh, if their challenges, diabetes, uh, they just look like they're in poor health, yes, they will be uh, covered with antibiotic treatment. Um, and you are always, not free, but you can call us and um, talk about these things anytime. The nursing home has our phone number, and I'd love to talk to you. Thank you. This is Dr. Randy Brill, nursing home dentist. Hi, I just reviewed this tape and I found out two glaring things that I need to clarify. One, Agram's, the, the micromanagement technique in India takes hours. No, mom and dad are probably going to be in the chair 30 minutes. Their mouth's only going to be open about five minutes with Agram's technique. We wiggle the tooth. We let the collagenase form. It's more difficult on an elderly patient, so they may sit there 20 minutes uh, before I go back and finish the extraction, but it's an atraumatic uh, extraction technique. And uh, two, I cannot guarantee safety uh, and that an extraction won't be a terminal event in a nursing home. What I can guarantee is that I used my best skill, care, and judgment to make a determination that it was safe and that I didn't take uh, their DNR, their do not resuscitate, uh, lightly. I took it very heavily and that I felt like the procedure had to be done and that I can look you in the eyes afterwards if something goes wrong and say we had to do it. And that's my commitment to all the power of attorneys or POAs or the people I work with that I do not want to leave you off worse than what you are when I show up. Um, if there's any option, um, we want to do the right thing and have everything be successful, and it is because um, I do use my best skill and skill carrying judgment to determine uh, what to do and what not to do. Thank you.